Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. It's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 19, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. So this will be a more uh, watered down version of my usual videos. And the uh, main reason for that, I think, is because uh, the cryptocurrency market is kind of dependent on what happens in with Bitcoin and probably also with what happens with Ethereum. So I'll just decide, I have decided now just to focus on those uh, two cryptocurrency and I look at them and in, in, in more detail as I look at the uh, at more chart or in different time frames for those cryptocurrencies. So the four hour, probably one hour and the weekly as well, as uh, these will basically determine where the other cryptocurrency will go. If Bitcoin falls off a cliff, then the same will happen to Ethereum and other cryptocurrency. And if Ethereum falls off a cliff, then it probably will have a, a similar effect. So we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin in the daily chart. And as you can see here, we do have a crossing of the daily chart here in the MACD, which basically is a bearish indication. Stochastic is bearish and so is the RSI. Well, there's still a room to the downside. So what is going on here is basically that we are in the descending triangle. We can see it right here. So right there. So and I'll take the other part in a moment. So we did have a rally here where we basically had a false breakout, breakout up towards the 200 moving average and then just a bank to the downside. And every single time we get close to this line, we have broken down. It was just this, which was a pulse breakout. Broke down really here, down, down, down. And then we have the bottom. And the bottom is um, around 30k 30, 30, uh, or down to 28k. And uh, we need to basically focus on this and this area here. So in the past, this was also major support so this was back in roughly uh, roughly in january we fell towards this level here and bounced several times we have seen the same thing happening here but at the current stage it looks like it's only a matter of time before we get into this corner and then we basically break uh, significantly lower how far uh, around ten thousand dollars is the estimate so the high of this uh, high of this fall is roughly 40k down to 30 uh, 30k so ten thousand dollars is the measurement here and that basically means that will drop ten thousand dollars and that will drop us down towards the 20k and that should make sense because um, 20k was also where we had the previous all-time highs we have to go all the way back here then 20k is right there roughly around this area here so that is most likely where we'll find a massive support um, if people don't start panic selling. Because I'm guessing that most people, when 20k broke, people were starting to buy, really starting to buy, as they knew that this was going to take off and to a new bear market for a cryptocurrency market. You can see how rapidly this rallied. We basically went from give or take uh, 20k into uh, 41k in roughly three weeks so it more than doubled in only three weeks and uh, then it fell towards 30k and then it took off to roughly 60 64k before now diving so we can also look at uh, if you look at the daily chart for the fibonacci retracements for this then we do have we have basically broken you see it right there you see the 50 is right there that is uh, the is a uh, 34k and that has been broken the 61.8 is down here that is at uh, 26k or roughly at 27k given 27k and that basically means that we could see a bounce at around 27k but if this breaks then a tie weight is is sure for this market down towards um, the 20k 
So dropping from where we are at the moment down to 20k in one day or one week, that is fairly unrealistic as we are going to, as we are going to get really overstretched and really oversold and people will start buying into those over, oversold conditions. But within the next month or two, then probably yeah. But it kind of depends on whether or not we break below this. If we basically turn around here and head towards the upside, then we can see that we could draw, we need to break above the 50 moving average. Then we could go to the 200 moving average, which is at the 44K here. And uh, yes, that will probably be massive resistant. If you look at the uh, four hour charts, we can see how often we came in contact with this area here. One, two, three, four, five. And now yet again, six time, we are basically challenging this area. So yes, it is kind of just a matter of time. We can also look at the, at the one hour chart. We have been just getting close to this area here and then just bouncing off it. But for our chart yet again, you can see that every single time we rally in the four hour chart, it is basically the 20 exponential where we are having problems. So getting up towards the 20, break down 20, break down 20, break down. And yet again, now try testing the 20. And it looks like we are just continuing dropping towards this area here and then just going to bounce. So if we were to rally, then we could go up towards the 33. And that will find massive resistance as well. And we will also run into the 200 moving average in the four hour chart. So yes, not looking very good for Bitcoin and it hasn't been going very well for Bitcoin for a very long time. Um, the hype in this market is completely gone. That is the, the hype in this market has completely gone. And that was basically what was fueling this market. Uh, also that there are so many cryptocurrencies in the market now and everybody is talking about the new cryptocurrency, new cryptocurrency and the focus from uh, Bitcoin has basically been, has been gone for quite some time. It does not get the same headlines as it used to do. And news basically drives the market as well. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is in a very similar um, similar state. We also have a descending triangle here. And uh, we also have a bottom roughly around here. So give or take uh, 1700. That is kind of where the bottom is in this market around there. So if you look at where we have dropped where we started, so this is roughly uh, 3000 down to 1700. That's $1,300 um, of move. And that basically basically means that if we drop below this, and we could see this dropping all the way down to $300. That is basically the measured move here. But that will probably take a much longer time. Uh, we have not had the crossing of the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. You can see the 50 is there, 200 is there. We have the 20 exponential and the 200 crossing. And the 50, that looks like much uh, far off. Probably the end of this month or the beginning uh, of uh, August, uh, we may see a crossing of the of the 250 moving average but still the picture is kind of the same we could rally up towards this point 2100 break down towards the 1700 uh, give or take and then up and basically break below here and then we are going to see a massive drop first of all to the 1500 level which is the uh, 300 moving average at this point then 1000 and then much much lower when I remember when I started covering um, uh, Ethereum, it was all the way down here. It was basically talking about the $200 and so on. That is, that's only a year ago. So it isn't that far-fetched that we see this basically drop all the way down back to where we were only one year ago. So this has been absolutely parabolical in its uh, momentum and things don't, we even see a hockey stick like this. This is just a bubble. I don't say, I don't mean that uh, this can't go to higher levels, but in, in one year going from roughly uh, $200 all the way up to above $4,000, uh, that is completely 
bogus. That is completely re unrealistic. No asset has that amount of rally in one year without basically being a bubble and basically seeing this drop significantly to the downside. So if you look at, for example, Fibonacci retracement, we can see that 50 is here that we broke a long time ago. And then we have the 60 right here, right where we have the bottom line. So we've basically been bouncing off the 61.8 and break below the 61.8. Then that basically means we have a massive tidal wave to the downside. So uh, it looks like it's more far off in this, uh, this and the triangle than compared to Bitcoin. But Bitcoin will probably be the one that starts this move if, if it starts. If you look at MACD, it is very bearish, and the stochastic is also very bearish, and so is the RSI. If you look at the weekly chart for, for uh, Ethereum, we can see that we have crossed the 20 exponential, heading towards the 50 uh, moving average here, down at 1,373. So we should have a, quite a big bounce when we get towards uh, 1,300 and, yeah, 1,362, I should say. A break below this, then we're talking about the 200 moving average down here at 562. If you look at the MACD for the, uh, the weekly chart, then the sell off started really started here. So when the MACD crossed the signal line back in basically the end of May, then this really took off. And it's probably going to take a long time before we have a crossing to the upside again. When we had the crossing to the upside, that was basically October last year, and then it continued basically roughly one year, um, and then it crossed again. And at the moment, we are in a long-term decline in this market. doesn't mean that we'll not see weeks like this where it rallies substantially. It just means that over time, it's more likely that we'll continue going lower and lower. So if you look at the four-hour chart for this, you can see that Every single time we get up towards the 20 exponential, it breaks down. The 20 breaks down, breaks down, breaks down. We did eventually get towards a 50 here really in this in the weekend, and then it broke down. So, so 20 and 50 in the four hour chart have proven to be massive resistant. And it looks like we're just slowly declining to back towards the 70, uh, 1750 level, which is crucial for this market at this point we can see he tested it there there also there also there and this probably be the this will be the fifth time that we'll test it if we get to that point break below that then you'll mostly have a massive drop to, to the downside so hope you find this helpful you won't support your job subscribe and hit the like button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much